Hey everybody, Scout Crafty here again. Uh, we got a nice little project today from a uh, subscriber by the name of Alex. So let's go downstairs and check okay, it out. Okay, let's get a little backstory on today's project. First of all, a couple months ago, uh, Alex Collins from Alabama contacted me. He said, I got a pair of pliers that were my grandfather's and I wanted to uh, restore them. And, uh, well, you know, I'm a sucker for anything that was, you know, anything that has to do with past family members, you know, uh, but um, he says these are a pair of clients. His, his grandfather was a uh, an electrician and a troubleshooter at, at uh, Gadsden, Alabama Steel Plant. And uh, he and then I find out Alex is only 21 years old, and and thank God his grandfather's still alive and kicking, doing good. So I said, this is great. Let's get this done because uh, it's a nice tribute to his grandfather to put all them years of service in at the uh, steel plant. And uh, we'll see what we can do with And these. these are the pliers in question. And uh, you can see here, they have a, a lot of years of wear and tear on it. You can see the jaws, uh, they're not too bad, but, um, uh, you know, there's a lot of times you can't really do a lot with the jaws when they get, you know, uh, dinged up or something like that. But we can get them back into work in order. And you can see here, you know, we got some, some deep, it looks like years of uh, just hardened rust you know how that gets on so uh it's got a pair of old klein coats on here we're gonna get these off uh alex sent a new pair along with the pliers and uh let's get this looking good again okay to remove the old klein coats what we're gonna do is the first thing you do is you take a, a utility knife and we score around the back here and you just score a light score right down the middle all the way down like this and then you follow in again don't try and do it all in one cut but uh simultaneous cuts in the same same line that you've been cutting you just keep doing that back and forth and eventually you're going to make it down to the metal of the pliers without scoring the metal so just keep doing that back and forth it might take you 15 times or so but once you get down to the uh to where it is then what you're going to do is you're going to take the pliers and you're going to lift up under here and pry it out like that where the split is. Okay, now the Klein coats, the old Klein coats are very hard, you know, to, uh, to they're stuck on there, rusted on there, whatever. So what you do, uh, I found the easiest way is to take a torch, uh, propane torch, butane torch, whatever you have, and um, just heat it up a little bit for a couple seconds. Now that'll soften that'll soften the grips. Then when you take your screwdriver and you put it under here where you have that slit, it will uh you could see it's much easier to pry off and you could you see how it pops right off like this. And that's uh that's how I found the easiest way to get okay, them. Okay, here's off. what they look like with the Klein coats off. You could see here. And uh now we're just going to take it to a wire brush, give it a quick wire brush and see what we're working with. But you can see that's just a little surface rust that you normally do get under them. Okay, here's our post wire brush evaluation. They're coming along nicely as you can see, but we have some work to do. And you can see here. Now, I don't see any marking on the pliers whatsoever. I don't know if it's a Klein. I don't think it is a Klein. Klein used to have a three-letter marking on here. I know these had Klein coats on here. This is the only marking I could see. You see that little X or, you know, a little, that little marking followed by O1 and a dot on one side of the handle. On the other side of the handle, it has an X and an 8. See that? So I it I don't think they're Klein. You know, they could be Utica. There's a bunch of, uh, so many companies made these style pliers. Doesn't matter. They're high quality pliers and we're going to fix them up that uh, that they're just like they were when they were new. So uh, what we're going to do is, you see, we got some extensive pitting there, right? The good news is we don't have to worry about, <laughs> about taking off any of the lettering, right? So we got that extensive pitting here. This side's not as bad. Um, and then the jaws. So the first thing we're going to do is start. We're going to try and sharpen the jaws a little bit. And for the simple reason that uh, it's much easier to do that before we 
This way we don't have to worry about messing up the finish when we clamp it into now, the Now usually on these pliers you'll have one side, the anvil type cutters, one side is usually a flattened or dull side and the other side is a sharp side that actually does the cutting. So, but with these, you know, they do have a slight profile. We're just going to follow the profile with a file and clean it up and, uh, and hopefully it'll be sharp again. Now you know my favorite part. Remember what these pliers look like before we started. Okay, we are calling this project done. And look how beautiful these are now, huh? I mean, this is just what I'm sure Alex was hoping for. And uh, his grandfather, Roland, I think he'll be pretty pleased too because this is just a beautiful pair of lineman pliers. I don't know the brand, like I said, but it doesn't matter. They're high quality. We're able to... Uh, Tune up the jaws a little bit. Let me show you how they work. We'll do some quick cutting. You can see it cuts all the way up the jaw, no problem. And, uh, you know, nicely, nice sharp cutters now. Uh, smooth as can be. Look at that finish on there. Is that beautiful? I mean, uh, this is good steel. This is good old American steel. Now, one thing you're going to notice is that over the next couple of weeks, you're going to notice a little bit of oil seeping up through this river because I oiled them up and everything. So um, just wipe it off, you know, because it will seep up through there. That's part of the fun of when you oil these plies, as we all know. But uh, the Klein coats came out beautiful, as they always do. I love these handles. And that's just a beautiful pair of plies, isn't it? Anyway, Alex, Roland, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, from me to you, thanks so much for watching and uh, enjoying the program. Take care. I hope everybody enjoyed this restoration. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.